Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 238. We're basically halfway through the year, I think, right? 623, yeah, over halfway, wow. This year is flying. Hey, this meeting is recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now, so you, you can watch it if you are watching this. And those of you that are with us right here, right now, go ahead and say hi. It'd be great. Ron's always said hi. It's great to have you here, Ron. And anybody else that's hanging out in the chat, say hi. We're very happy you're here. We're going to do triage today. We don't have a ton of things to triage. I'm hoping that goes quickly. And then we'll do anything that uh, people want to talk about. Hey, we have a Jacob. Uh, so if Ron and Jacob have anything they want to talk about, uh, we'll, we'll talk about those things second. Otherwise, we might get out of here a little early, which, you know. That, that can happen. So let's go do triage right now. Bob, you ready? I am ready. Here we go. Triage. Uh, triage has three issues. One of these is the ones pinned up here. So let's go ahead and start at the top. 6803. Votive has problems installing on 17.2. Um, we got good news this week. Um, after other people have been bouncing on this, the Visual Studio team confirmed this issue was a bug in seven in VS seventeen point two and is expected to be fixed in seventeen two point five. So I think we can resolve this external and keep it pinned up here, and except maybe we add to the title "fixed in seventeen point two point seventeen point two point five." I can do that. I think that's probably the thing to say. Oh no, Jacob's right. I think I forgot to send the mail. I'm a, I'm, uh, I'm being pulled in too many different directions. All right, sorry. Yes. Well, you know what? This is a fantastic turnout. We have Ron, Jacob, and Zach, despite me forgetting to send the mail. Um, so hey, great. Glad you guys made it, despite the old world email notification. Anyway. Uh, so I think that's the, hopefully the resolution to all of the V6 things that plagued us for a while. Well, none of them. Yeah. At least until they break us again. It's very frustrating to have the Visual Studio installer break an installation project. Cause Especially there's, ours. There's so little that we can do to fix it. It's just, it's just frustrating. All right. Uh, copy and modify instructions not working for Wix UI Advanced and minimal. Bob, this is more kind of your area than. Um, yeah, the, the, the instructions. Aren't great, I will say. Um. They're, they're probably more vague than they could be. Um, yeah. So we take this in four, four X or something to say, maybe we make it better. <laughs> Display and turn UI equals false, fixed. Uh, Jacob is definitely bought into the burn as the UI. Um, well, th this one is, this one is the actual just the normal Wix UI. Whether it's being used in a bundle, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this one is. Um, uh, I, I I don't I don't entirely agree with the uh, premise of the issue. Uh, the 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 same issue exists in multiple sets. Yeah. The error messages are not great if you don't get this just right. There's no doubt well, about that. The, no, it's it's worse than that. It's very easy to get something that builds, but you know it doesn't work at runtime, which you know is kind of the worst case scenario. Um, yeah, I guess that's. But worse. yeah, this, this is this is a doc bug. I would agree. Um, the particular problem. Uh, is not well communicated in the in the doc. Put it that way. But but that same problem exists with all the sets. That's my uh, my only you know, issue with the actual bug. So it is a doc bug. Where do we put it? Uh, 
I have no strong feelings on this. Borax? I guess I made that vote already. I, Bob, we're both kind of like, uh, how about this? Uh, I, uh, yeah, I mean, we've punted, generally we've pushed doc bugs into the web milestone, which I've never liked. Um, but I don't see a huge bit of difference between that and 4X. <laughs> True. Yeah, let's do 4X and I will take it. Oh, all right. Doc bug and away. All right, so someone is jumping on the early train of Visual Studio ARM, which I think only came out like in the last month or so. Oh yeah. If it's a doc bug, docs can be updated after the fact, right? Well, all right. Let's let's talk about that real quick. So Jacob brings up a point of doc bugs. One of the problems in three is that the docs are built into the chum. The chum is part of the build. It is the build process that publishes that over to the web and then the web just holds it. So it, it, I mean, we can go and edit the website without updating the chum um, and then slowly drift, I suppose. But we have a whole doc problem for four that we will have to tackle at some point and we're not tackling that now or today. So it is a thing that we do need to tackle. All right, uh, so it's a doc bug. If we're going to fix it in four time frame, it will end up being a web only thing. All right, uh, so well, yeah, especially now, all doc bugs are web bugs, but that wasn't the uh, that was not the case in all three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, the thing that I added is that we actually got a message at Fire Giant from the Visual Studio team after they made the announcement, I think, which was, it was a little weird the way this whole thing happened. Uh, there was no discussion about it and then suddenly it appeared. And then they're like, oh, we probably should tell extension providers this. Anyway, uh, this is all very experimental. Our, this ARM stuff in Visual Studio, not experimental. It's, well, it's experimental. It's preview. preview. They're yeah. playing with it. And they don't expect extensions to work at this point. And it's not even clear how you block at this point. So anyway, there's a whole bunch of things that are still coming and they've had no information. I don't know what we do with this issue right now because this isn't like not prepared to be a thing. Visual Studio is not prepared for this issue to exist. I think it's probably the way to do, handle it. So we aren't either. I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm confused, concerned, surprised um, given that they introduced ARM64 support in a point release of 17.3, right, uh, of, seven, of version 17. Um, and traditionally, we're at 17.25. Traditionally, we don't get more than about that uh, before they, you know, move the, major, uh, the minor point release to be the current point release. In other words, I expect 17.3 to come out pretty quickly. So it seems really weird that they're like, yeah, no extensions, eh, whatever, they don't work. Yeah. No big deal. I, I don't really understand the whole strategy. I, uh, on, the whole thing is mostly a mystery, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, there's not real any clarity of what their intent is here or why they chose to do it this way. It's not at all like the X64 was, which is actually what they say in here. Um, so, uh, I don't know what to do with this issue. We stick it in votive and it sits around until more stuff shows up, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, great that someone's on the cutting edge, but I don't know that we needed an issue. I don't know. Whatever. It's like, hey, there might be work here. There might be. <laughs> well, All right. You know, Votive is any CPU, so theoretically, the I mean, the, the goal... I don't, well, I, 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 don't know, know. I, I, I thought I saw in the R64 announcement that the goal was that any CPU would, quote-unquote, just work. But that, that does require yeah. Windows 11. You need, you know, done a framework... 
yeah. which I don't think they're bringing to Windows 10. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, it, um, and, and Jake's question, do they have a means of detecting disabling extension? There's supposed to be some mechanism they're going to be for detecting that your arm. Uh, I, I haven't gone searching for the documentation, but when they said they didn't have the documentation when they initially did all this, so it, it really was like, wait, what if we want to say we don't support ARM? There's usually a way of saying that your extension supports Visual Studios, and it wasn't like quite there yet, or I don't know. So it's like the whole thing's like, all right, whatever, we'll deal with this later. And then someone opened an issue, and you're like, really? Okay, well, other people care about it more than Visual Studio does, I think. It's kind of the way it felt. So, yeah. all right, but it's votive, so I don't really care. <laughs> I don't plan to fix it. I have things in Wix 4 to go fix, which is another thing on top of all this that I go back here real quick. One of the points raised or it looked like the initial issue wasn't even in Visual Studio. I, I should have brought this up when we were talking about it. Um, but the initial error was it is like it didn't show up in, or it the Wix extension didn't show up in the place where extensions are supposed to show up, but it did show up in Solution Explorer, which means it worked. But when they did a build, it didn't work. And that's where I'm like, okay, we're not going to do work in Wix 3 to make Wix run on ARM64. We will do those kinds of things in 4. We probably should think about what that means now that we know that ARM64 is coming to, for 4. But it's all going to be in 4 anyway. So, um, yeah. I was surprised that it worked as well as it did. And we will have things to do in 4. Uh, no, we got an email. Microsoft gave us an email, sent an email to all the partners, Fire Giant being one of them, and I copied out, copied out the snippets of the email that uh, seemed pertinent to this issue. That's what we got. Like I said, the whole thing is very weird. It's, it's it's not as nearly as organized as we have seen from Visual Studio in the past. I don't really understand what's going on in the Visual Studio site. It's not been clear. Um, except that it's clear that it's not a big deal to them. I think that's probably what's come through most clearly. Ha <laughs> ha clearly. Anyway. Uh, that's it, I think. Right? That's today's issues. That'll head off into the votive land and uh, we will see what happens. All right. Going back. Things people want to talk about going on and stuff like that. Um, I don't have much other than fixing Wix 4 bugs and doing uh, all the other work at Fire Giant that keeps me busy. Plus the sick kids, which has actually disrupted most of the last week, seven days. Um, that's mostly been my life. Um, I'm kind of filling space. I don't know if you, Sean, Bob, if you guys have anything, go ahead and jump in. Otherwise I'm looking to two weeks out because that would be the next meeting. That's going to be July, after July 4th. Wow. I mean, wow. Uh, all right. So July 7th, I know I said July 4th, but that's just because I was looking ahead. And July 4th is kind of a turning point in the weather up here in the Pacific Northwest. July 4th, it's rainy and cloudy. And then after that, summer starts. All right. So that means uh, we'll be back in two weeks. Everybody's quiet out there, so I assume everybody's nice and busy getting all their Wix 4 stuff taken care of. That's what we're doing. Um, and working hard on all the other things that you do. July 7th? Yes? Yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. I feel like everybody's like waiting for something to happen, and there's not anything to happen. So let's wrap this thing up. Two weeks, same time, same place, July 7th. I will try to get the email out correctly. Um but all the other things will be set up right away. We'll be back, and maybe at that time, Bob will have a chance to uh, show us some of the experiments he's been doing with running the Wix uh, integration tests in the Sandbox. That would be very cool if that works out, if that fits yeah. into that time slot. Um, and yeah, that's it. All right, two weeks from now, we'll see all you guys back. This is a nice short meeting, and we will... Sorry, one thing. We will start doing like Wix 4 issue triages. Probably not in the next two meetings, but like August, I'm thinking. Uh, I, 
that's just what my, my gut feeling is telling me that we are going to start looking at uh, all the Wix 4 bugs and start getting a talking about those. I know we've only been talking about the new issues and people might be wondering where's Wix 4. There's been enough work for us to do on Wix 4. At some point we need to start looking at it and go, where are we really at Wix 4? So I don't think it'll be the next two meetings because I know I have enough work to get through that. Um, but we will start looking at Wix 4 issues and kind of where we're at, where we're going from there. Probably like the current of August. set of, of issues? Yeah, like I'm... For example, this meeting would be longer if we sat down and said, hey, let's take a look at all the Wix 4 issues. And we start at the top and start working our way down. Um, just kind of getting a status of where are we at on all of this? Um, but that list is still too long and I have hope that I'm going to be able to knock out a lot of it. Because again, I have exactly half of them right now. Um, although Jacob has one and Bob has a quarter, I think. 18. And yeah, okay. And, oh, almost a third. And Sean has been fantastically awesome and has like three or something like that. Um, but... Well, clearly we know how to rebalance that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's not That's punish not him. That's not how this works. That's not yeah. he's, he's That been... was a funny joke. That was all serious. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, it's all good. We'll get there. All right. So we'll be back in two weeks. We will do this sort of meeting. It might be uh, another short triage. That would be nice. And then hopefully a, a Bob presentation. And then we'll talk about the one after that. Two weeks from now, same time, same place, July 7th. You guys take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.